Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. Today we got a really quick message. This one's going to be for Pisces. It's a little different. It's what crystals should you need, okay? Or should you be holding or having, okay? We also pull a card from the traditional tarot, okay? We also pull a card um, for that person that's on your mind. If they could say something, if they're thinking something, what would that be? Okay, so the cards that I do have for the crystals, they're tongue tired, so you might hear me sound a little illiterate. I'm not illiterate. Them fucking cards just like trip me up, okay? And I don't use them often, so don't be making fun of me. Mind your business, okay? Moving on. So, your first card, okay, Pisces, is orange calcite, all right? Looks like this. It looks like a glassy substance. It will have like a, a, a dark or very very pale orange color to it okay um it says what is it orange calcite is a hot-blooded artistic love on the brain wild child of a calcite family okay literally i heard what that what that saying was uh rihanna's song love on the brain so i'm getting you thinking a lot about your love life or you're thinking a lot about someone that you love Okay, this could be a family member. This could be someone that you're dating. This could be platonic. You're thinking about them or they're thinking about you. Okay, but moving on. Who needs it? Artists holding the proverbial paintbrush, staring at the proverbial blank canvas. Anyone whose sex life needs a little more mm in it. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting that this is for artists. Uh, you could be a Pisces that's having a hard time tapping into your creative side right now. You could be having some creative blockages, okay? I forget who got this card. It could be uh, Libra that got this card or Taurus. I said Libra. It definitely wasn't Libra. Um, okay, you guys could be connecting to a Libra, but I meant to say uh, Taurus or Aries, okay? You guys uh, may need some more sex in your life, okay? You're sex deprived, something like that. Okay, it says where to put it, the honeymoon suit, the studio, okay, wherever, you, wherever you're trying to get a little bit more mm in your life, a little bit more love, a little bit more focus, okay, moving on. It says when to use it, when you want to make something more beautiful, orange calcite energy is all about breaking through the fog and that fear that hangs on you. On the path to your creation, you will go with orange calcite. When you want to add some energy to your creativity process or take on the common sutra page one at a time, get with this orange calcite, sun kiss vibes. So when I hear sun kiss vibes, you guys could be connecting with the fire sign right now that's helping you um, try to tap into your creativity. Okay, you may need to connect with the fire sign. Like I said, Aries or Leo. Maybe even a Sagittarius, but I'm getting big Leo and Aries energy. So you guys can break, have a breakthrough with your creative. Maybe you just need more attention from these two zodiac signs. Not really sure, but that's what I'm going to say. It says unlock your creativity. Okay, Pisces. Your next card is Labradorite. Looks like this. Okay. Bam. It says, what is Labradorite? It says it is a fill for a fill for mineral first discovered in Canada's frozen north. The stone seems to hold the light of the aura. Just breathe its surface. This is slightly psychedelic. What? Iridescent dance is known quite appropriately as it is a labyrinth sea. Okay, so I'm getting that you're supposed to dance with this in your hand. All right. So who needs it? Adventurous, exploring the far off lands, places, spiritual, artistic, and dreamy. Any Pisces. Oh my God. <laughs> Any Pisces. This is your fucking car. Like this is you. You need this. Labrador, right? To help you with your artistic, creative endeavors. Wow. This is so amazing. It says where to put it wherever you cast your spells so i'm getting i'm getting it's time for you to cast a spell i'm getting that it's time for you to create a spell a protection spell i'm getting that you need to create a spell for your spells especially for those of you that are like spiritual 
Wow. I'm also getting you need to cast a spell on your dreams. You need to protect your dreams, Pisces. This is not only in the uh, a philosophical way, meaning like you're dreaming, but this is also in the physical life. The things that you aspire for, the things that you're working hard for, you need to protect that. Okay? Why am I saying that? Overall deck, six of cups is in front of me. Because what you're, what you're working so hard to create, it's supposed to leave a legacy for your future children or your children, period. Or just your future. Okay? Your, the rest of the card says, who, it says where to put it. Whenever you want to cast spells, when to use it. When you lost your faith in magic, Pisces, how could you lose your faith in magic? Come on. The world is weird. Wonderful, whimsical, watery, rocky, hurtling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into this labyrinth and delight in that. Protect your magic, Pisces. This is so fucking beautiful. I pulled a card from the traditional tarot, <clears throat> and I got the six of swords in reverse the six of swords to me all day every day is being um being carried by your spiritual guys you know having secret helpers people that people or spirit that is hidden the six of swords are things that you can't explain that work out in your favor okay it's having help when you don't even know you have help The Six of Swords can also talk about confession, communication. Swords are thoughts, actions, and communication. So I'm getting is I'm getting part of your creativity is being able to speak what's on your mind, but you could be captive by your thoughts right now. Really living in the past. I was also getting earlier, it's time to do what's best for you, Pisces. It's time to move on. It's time to transcend yourself, okay? This may be an emotional journey, okay? I'm getting that something could really be like um, blocking you in a sense. But I'm getting, I'm getting that the journey is yours. It's whatever you create. Remember, you're a Pisces. So for you see it, so, so for it to happen. You have to start manifesting. You have to trust the magic. You have to trust that you are magical. Pisces, God only speaks to you in Aquarius. That's a, that's a, that's a blessing. I heard, I heard, I, um, I heard, um, I heard a Pisces say, well, damn, if I'm going through all of this, that's a, that's a profound way to love me, but it, it's to change you. When I was shuffling for you, Pisces, I literally heard enemy. I feel like you're your own worst enemy because you keep doubting yourself or you may have to protect yourself from these these vampires that's trying to suck up your energy people could be having literal spells on you they could be in the form of chanting praying oh i hate that prices i hope this that and a third happens you're you're a fucking magical you can actually create a spell to break yourself free from anything that someone puts on you i'm also getting um like I said earlier, do what's best for you, for you, you, you. You may have children. Do what's best for you and your children. Don't worry. Okay? I'm also getting that um, love is like art. What, what do you want your love life to look like? Is it abstract? Is it profound? Meaning, is it a Picasso? Can I understand it or can I not understand it when I look in on your window pane? Do you even understand your own love life? Moving on.
I ask spirit for the person that's on Pisces mind. If the person that's on their mind could say one thing, or if they were thinking something, what would it be? And it all goes hand in hand because this person's trying to create something too. It says, life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. So I'm getting that this person doesn't want to change where you guys are in your relationship. They're not trying to destroy the relationship. They're trying to create more moments in this relationship. The relationship could be messy right now. You may feel like this person is trying to ruin you in a, in a sense. You may feel like you're under a magic spell with them. But like I said, you're Pisces. So you could create any type of spell you want. You could create any type of life you want. You just have to see it. You could be connecting with another Pisces, someone just as creative as you. I'm getting that you guys are sent to change each other. You guys may be scared of each other in a sense because it's such an emotional choppy journey. I'm getting that you guys will find a way to make this work, okay? I'm getting that you guys are actually each other's wish fulfillment. You guys could have known each other since childhood or you guys could have children and you guys as children go to the same school, hang out in the same, hang out with the same, you know, kids up the block. You know, they, they have something with you guys and their kids do something mutual, but it may not be that. You guys could have just known each other for a while. Okay. Moving on. I heard someone say, no, it's only been nine months and I feel like I know them forever. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, moving on. Create that life that you're looking for with them then. Moving on. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Okay, so this could be possibly what's on someone's mind. They're trying to create something, okay, with you, but they're scared. Okay, they want to conquer that fear because you make them happy. I'm, I'm getting just tell them they have nothing to worry about. You love them. I'm, heard, I'm hearing power couple. You guys are a power couple. You got a lot of things to create in this life. Don't forget that orange calcite and that Labradorite. All right? That's what I got for you, Pisces.